Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can screen record on your Windows PC using vMaker. To install vMaker, click on the download vMaker button and proceed to download the app. Once the download is complete, the downloaded exe file will be available for you in the download section of your PC. You can click on it to initiate the installation of vMaker. If not here, you can also initiate the installation by clicking on the downloaded file from the browser as well. Once the installation is complete, vMaker will launch itself. It's now time to look at different screen recording options that are available for you and the unique features that will help make your video stand out. On the vMaker app, you can choose to record just your screen or both your screen and webcam together. Let's take a look at some of the customization options for your webcam overlay. You can drag and drop the webcam overlay to a position of your choice. You can increase or decrease the size of your webcam overlay by clicking on the resize icon. Should you wish, you can also disable the webcam input for it by clicking on the profile button. Next step is to add a frame and a virtual background to your webcam overlay. You can choose to blur your background, remove your background, or add a custom background by uploading a background image in JPEG format from your PC. For example, I have uploaded a minion image and a galaxy image to be used as background. You can also make use of the collection of default background images that are available on vMaker. Next step is to add a frame. Using the frames feature, you can change the shape of your webcam overlay or you can also add a Christmas hat or a cowboy hat like this. You can also choose to go for a functional frame such as this one to add a name or title to your webcam overlay. Enter the text that you wish to have, select a font of your choice for the text and customize the background colors as per your preferences. Click on done to save your changes. Let's take a look at some of the recording options that are available for you before you start recording. You can choose to record your entire screen or a particular window that's open or running on your PC. You can also choose to record only a particular section of your screen by selecting it. Moving on, you can view the input for your webcam over here. If you're using an external webcam, it'll show up under this drop down. Similarly, the input for your microphone will show up under the microphone dropdown. If you're using a headphone and recording an important meeting or any other video or audio playback, make sure that you enable the computer audio feature. This allows vMaker to directly capture the audio from your PC. Moving on, it's now time to select the resolution in which you wish to record the video in. You can select from 360p to 1080p on the vMaker Windows app. Before we start recording, let's take a look at some of the options that are available to you under preferences. You can choose to use vMaker in seven international languages, starting from English, Spanish, French, Italian, German, Portuguese, and Russian. Moving on, you can set the default recording resolutions for your videos over here as well. If you wish to not have a countdown timer before your recording starts, you can disable it over here. You can enable or disable highlighted mouse clicks. You can choose to flip your camera at all times. You can choose to hide or unhide the control menu that appears on the left side of the screen when you start recording. You can disable or enable the cue sound for recording intimation. You can enable or disable the option of launching vMaker when you start up your PC. It's a good practice to enable auto update so that the latest software updates are installed automatically. Finally, you can customize the shortcut keys to perform key functions. All you have to do is enter the key of your choice for different actions and click on save changes. You can also reset the customizations at any given point of time. Click on the start recording button to record your screen. On the left hand side, you can see the control menu. The red button is to stop the recording followed by the pause button to pause the recording. This feature is especially useful when you want to pause the recording to collect some thoughts or take a break. The next button is to delete or cancel the recording. You can also mute yourself when the recording is in progress. We do not recommend doing this when the computer audio is being captured while using a headphone. Next one is the drawing tool. 
pick a color, change the size of the brush as per your needs and start drawing on the screen. The drawing tool is an incredible feature to make your videos engaging and attract the attention of the viewers. Once you're done, click on the red button to stop the recording. Your video will be automatically uploaded to the vMaker Cloud Storage and available for you on the player page. The first thing that you can do is rename the video over here. If you're looking to share the video right away, you can copy the video link and send it across to anyone on the internet. In addition to this, you have a couple of other sharing options as well. Click on the share button and the different options will be revealed to you. Once again, you can copy the video URL from here. You also have an embed code where you can copy the code and embed the video on landing pages. You also have the option of directly uploading the video to YouTube. All you have to do is link your YouTube channel and you're good to go. Moving on, you can also share the video link on Facebook, LinkedIn and Twitter. Finally, if you are a Gmail user, you can insert the video link into the body of your email while composing it. Let's take a look at the auto expiry feature next. Using this feature, you can make sure that the video is available only for a certain amount of time for the viewer. For example, in this video, I'm gonna set the auto expiry at 10 hours. After 10 hours, the video will not be available for the viewer anymore. Next is the editor. I've covered the editor in a separate section. If you wish to watch the demo of editor right now, you can click on the button below or you can continue watching this demo. Let's take a look at the privacy feature. Please note that you will be able to control the privacy of your videos either on the player page individually for each video or at the master level for all your videos. To start with, you can enable or disable search engine indexing. Disabling search engine indexing makes sure that the search engines cannot find your video. Next one is hide download button. Hiding the download button ensures that the viewers of your videos cannot download them. Finally, you can make your videos private. This ensures that nobody has access to your videos, especially if you have shared the videos with others. Let's take a look at some of the other features that are available. You can click on duplicate to duplicate the video. This is especially useful if you want to edit the video but wish to retain the original version. You can also delete the video using the delete button. Finally, you can download the video and save it to your local storage in MP4 format. Let's move on and take a detailed look of the dashboard. The dashboard is where all your recorded videos are available. You can organize your videos by creating folders and moving the videos into them. You can move a video by dragging and dropping it into the folder. Also, you can select multiple videos like this and move them into a specific folder that you've created. To delete multiple videos, all you have to do is select the videos that you wish to delete and click on the delete icon. You can perform some key actions for your videos on the dashboard. All you have to do is hover over the three dots and from here you can edit the video, play it, duplicate it, move it to a specific folder, share it with someone, copy the link or delete it. The vMaker dashboard has a search bar using which you can search for specific videos on your dashboard. All you have to do is click on search and type the name of the video that you're looking for. Let's take a look at how you can share a video from your dashboard. Hover over the three dots on the video, click on share and enter the email address of the recipient with whom you wish to share the video with. You can also choose between view or edit access for the recipient before you share the video. Once you've selected, click on send to share the video right away. Moving on, let's take a look at the shared with me section. Any folder or video that's shared by a fellow vMaker user with you will appear over here. If you're collaborating with someone, you can check this section to see the files and folders they've shared with you. Let's move on to the My Team section. Here you can invite team members to your workspace as admins or members. Just enter their email address, select the role that you wish to assign to them and click on Send Invites. There are no limitations to the number of members you can invite to your workspace. If you wish to add more than five members, click on add another invitation. Like you can see here, I can add as many invitations as I want. And the final step is to send invites. Moving on, let's take a look at the branding section. Using the custom branding feature, you can customize the branding of the player page. The first step is to disable the vMaker branding. The next step is to upload your logo. 
please make sure that the dimension of your logo meets the minimum requirements. Click on add logo and upload the logo from your PC. Next step is to add the brand fave icon. You can upload a unique logo from your PC to be added as the brand fave icon or make use of the same one that you have previously uploaded. Next step is to select the brand color. You can pick a color from the spectrum or enter the code for the color and save it. The brand color that you pick will appear on the player and other buttons. I'm gonna pick a nice bright red color that pops out. The final step is to customize the URL of the player page with your own subdomain. Enter the name of your choice that you wish to have in the URL. It can be your name, the name of your company or any other text. Finally, click on save to make sure that all your changes are saved. Let's take a look at how the player page looks now. Wow, doesn't it look incredible? The brand logo has been updated along with the subdomain. You can also see the colors for the share button, copy link button and the play button on the player has been updated with the brand colors. Let's move on and take a look at the privacy and security section on the dashboard. Under privacy and security, you can enable two-factor authentication for your account. This makes sure that your account is protected from unauthorized logins. Moving on, the master settings for your privacy and security are available over here. You can choose to make all your videos private from here or disable download for all your videos. Do note that you will not be able to control the privacy of videos individually on the player page once you set the privacy at the master level. Let's take a look at how you can edit your video on vMaker. Click on the edit button to open the editor. This is what the editor looks like. Let's take a look at some of the editing options that are available. The first one is trim feature. Using this tool, you can trim the start and end of the video to remove unwanted sections by moving the playhead. Click on the green tick mark when you're done trimming. Next is the resize tool. Using this, you can crop the video to show only a particular section of the screen. Once you're done resizing, click on apply to save the changes. The next tool is the flip tool. Using this, you can flip the video. If you've just recorded your webcam, you can use this tool to flip the mirrored video. Using the rotate tool, you can rotate the video. Let me now show you how you can cut and remove a particular section of the video. First step is to duplicate the scene. Select the scene number one, click on the trimming tool and retain the part that you wish to have in the video. Now select the duplicate scene, click on the trimming feature and retain the rest of the part that you wish to include in the video. This way you would have removed the part that you did not want from the video. Using the upload feature, you can upload videos in MP4 format and merge them with the videos that you have recorded. For example, I have uploaded an intro and outro animation in MP4 format for this video. To add an outro, all I have to do is create a new scene and drag and drop the outro into the scene. Now let's take a look at how you can add an intro to this video. Create a new scene, move it to the top of the video and drag and drop the intro into the scene. That's it, the videos have been merged. Let me now show you how you can organize the videos that you've uploaded to the vMaker editor. You can create folders, add name to them and move the uploaded files within the folders and have them organized. To move a video into a folder, just hover over the video, click on the three dots, click on move to and select the folder to which you wish to move the video to. To save the changes and export your video, click on export, select the resolution in which you wish to export the video in and click on export. The video will get rendered, the changes will be saved to the original video.